I'll tell you what. It's really sleazy out there. I'm a big boy. It's really sleazy out there. You know, a couple of years ago, the Senate Conservative Fund, this is a group set up by Jim DeMint, set up to support conservatives against the establishment, against Mitch McConnell. And a couple of years ago, the cons- and, and by the way, very successful. They supported Cruz, and uh, I don't remember everybody they supported, but very effective. And they backed Cruz for the Senate. I backed Cruz for the Senate, too. I think before them, but I don't know who they backed and what they did. And so, a couple of years ago, they contact not just my publisher, I think other publishers. They say this Liberty and Tyranny book, Levin's top book. We would like to buy old copies of that book and use them to promote membership. So they did. I wasn't involved in it, but they did. I had no control over it, but they did. That's perfectly legitimate. It's done by a lot of groups and with a lot of authors. And again, I'm not even involved in it. But the book was four or five years old at that point. So it doesn't affect any lists. It's not bulk buying or anything of that sort, as far as I know. Whatever money I got from that, which would be some percent, some fraction of whatever the sale is, well, whatever money I got from that, a lot of the money I get from my book sales, I give to charities. The money I got from that, I went back and checked, went to my local uh, dog shelter. Now, Roger Stone is a thug. He's a sleazeball. Go ahead and Google his name. He's a hatchet man for Donald Trump. So he puts out this obscure article from this obscure website that used that to claim that I'm bought and paid for by the establishment. How so? I don't know. But I'm bought and paid for by the establishment. That's why I back Cruz. Number one. And in the article, they trash other people, too. Beck, Erickson, I think there's another fellow in there trashed with these nutjob conspiracy theories and just flat-out lies. Now, there are sleazeballs like him, sleazeballs like Coulter, and sleazeballs like some talk show host, and I'm biting my tongue, who are so contemptible and pathetic They want to use the most outrageous attacks on one of their colleagues to try and promote themselves. It's truly pathetic. Now, I back Cruz, and I'm going to continue to back Cruz. But here's what I'm going to do. As a result of what the Trump supporters have attempted here, particularly Roger Stone, I am not voting for Donald Trump. Period. So I want to congratulate Roger Stone. And if anybody has a problem with that, Donald Trump, you can talk to Roger Stone. These bully, dirty tricks, Nixonian tactics, they're only going to backfire. They're only going to backfire. So count me as never Trump. There's been too much of this, folks. Way too much of this. The crap in the National Enquirer against Ted Cruz... The attacks on Michelle Fields. I mean, I can go right through the list. Too much, too much, too much. At some point, you got to stand up to it. At some point, you got to stand up to it. I do not like bullies, and I never have. So I will not be voting for Donald Trump, and he can thank Roger Stone. And if they piss me off one more time, I'm going to urge millions and millions of you, should he get the nomination, not to vote for him either. I'm very serious about this. Very serious about this. The sleazeball tactics are utterly unethical. Completely and utterly unethical. I don't mind debating the issues. I don't mean having it full out. I don't mind that with the candidates and so forth. But this kind of stuff, no. And I don't like the other way other people are being treated either. So congratulations. You turned me against him. Oh, Roger Stone has nothing to do with the campaign. Oh, yes, he does. He's out there sleezing away. That's what he's known for. Google his name. Google his name. 
Now we'll move along. And oh, and in this business I'm in, there are really, really good people, really good hosts, good management, good executives, good program directors. Then there's this one pig who just can't control himself. This pig who cannot control himself. Of course, I won't name him because I'm not allowed to. Maybe I will next week. I'm thinking about it. Gutless little wonder. All right, let's move on. 